Al Kurt Sasso here from TGT Web Comics at C2E2, date number two. We're here with Evan from Rice Boy. How are you doing today, Evan? I'm doing very well. I hope this is the big day of the convention. I think it is. I mean, we saw about 500 or so people just line up in queue. You know, you're going to have a great day. I, I know it. You know, how did how did you get involved with C2E2? Um, I went to the Wizard World convention in Chicago last year, which left me unsatisfied. And uh, at that convention, they were advertising that this one would be starting this year. And from the start, it sounded like they would be more friendly to my kind of work. So uh, I just applied as soon as I could, and now I'm here. And well, what have you thought of it so far? Has it been up to your expectations? Friday was slow, but there's a great mix of people. I mean, you can sort of tell by the guests that they're really thinking about the whole gamut of the comics community. Um, I mean, it's been pretty fun. It's a great space, too. It's a great, uh, it's well put together, I think. Well, talk to us about Rice Boy. I, I've loved your drawing in Rice Boy. This has been one thing that's really drawn me, no pun intended, <laughs> to to your work here. You know, this is your true love. How did you get involved with, with Rice Boy? Um, Rice Boy, I started about four years ago, and it's turned into a project to make a bunch of enormous fantasy adventure comics all set in one invented world. Um, the first comic that I made is called Rice Boy. Is that good? That's good. And uh, it's, it's sort of a fantasy adventure comic about, you know, a prophecy and the end of the world and a war and all this sort of standard fantasy stuff, but I'm trying to make it in a very unique and weird sort of setting, and I think I'm doing something interesting with it. And since then, I've been drawing Order of Tales, which is set in the same world, and uh, but it goes much more into the, the history and the complex culture of this world, and it follows a character who's a member of a society of storytellers as he uncovers this huge plot that um, that ties into the distant past of the uh, the history. So I'm having a lot of fun with it, and I'll be done with that in August, and you can read it on my website as it updates twice a week. And what's that website? Rice-boy.com. Now, I've, I've, I've loved your design of your site. A lot of people go with a very clean setup. You're very in-your-face out there, and, uh, you know, it's a great setup. I love the fact that you have a beautiful variety of colors on the site. It really draws, you know, to you, well, your different chapters and everything. And I love that you're, you're keeping fresh with that. Thank you. Um, I try to make it... I didn't really come at this from a webcomics perspective. I only became familiar with webcomics at all after I started being one myself, making one myself. But I try to keep the comic, like, the pages of the comic itself, they're all you see on the page. And the website is, like, clean and graphical, and I want everything to look like you can click it and go immediately where you want. And also, I don't, like, put the latest page on the front page, which is kind of, like, unique. But uh, I think it does, I think it works well for me. So I, everybody is doing this differently is the thing. So, so C2E2, it's an inaugural convention. It's a, you know, first one of its kind in downtown Chicago. Uh, when this all closes, though, what are you personally going to take away from it? Hopefully I'm not going to take home any books. <laughs> What am I going to take away from I don't know. Uh, I love Chicago, and, like, I take any excuse I can to get here. And, I mean, it's a, it's so far a good convention, so I'm just hoping that it will be something that will let me come back next year. So. Well, you got great work. you got a great presence here. You know, I love your books. I love your style. You're going to have a great time here for the rest of the convention, and I think you're, you're, you're going to do really well. So, you know, thank you for doing this interview. Thank you.